when it comes to geology conferences or really any science conferences, people tend to assume that they're just a bunch of research talks and posters. And I say that because I used to assume that too. But I just got back from GSA Connects 2025, the Geological Society of America's annual meeting, and I got some behind the scenes footage to show you all the other amazing opportunities, activities, and events at these conferences. Specifically at GSA Connects, there are field trips, social events, receptions, food, even drinks, like the kind you need after a long day of conferencing. But one of my absolute favorite things about this conference that nobody tells you about as a student is the exhibit hall. The exhibit hall is a massive hidden world filled with geological tools and equipment, rocks, minerals, and fossils, science-themed merch, geology books to guide your next adventure, cool demonstrations, and even job opportunities. This is something you don't get to see in the conference program, but it's like the central hub where everyone connects between talks and posters. It's also where many universities and companies recruit the next generation of geoscientists. But even if you aren't a geoscience student or professional, you can still come to GSA Connects to explore the exhibit hall, which I highly recommend if you are at all outdoorsy or just love earth and or earth science. For example, here's a booth selling these awesome field tools that would be fun for anybody going camping, hiking, fossil hunting, rock hounding. I just checked out the acid bottle holder from Forestry Supplies, then went to Brunton and got my, uh, my Brunton hat, so had to get that. If you don't know what Brunton is, not a true geologist. <laughs> get your Brunton compass, go take some strikes and dips. Yep, that's right. Geology nerd merch. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> Over the years, I've accumulated some absolute treasures from these vendors, including this adorable trilobite plushie, these awesome science-themed bags. We've got women in science. Over here, we've got uh, chemistry when I was back in grad school in my chemistry lab, my geochemistry lab. And these are even reversible. This is another chemistry one, but this one is, you can turn it inside out to gray. This one, you can turn it inside out to yellow. Um, I've used both sides of this one quite a bit, so it's quite kind of dirty, but these are from an awesome company called Cognitive Surplus. I also have this geologic timescale water bottle from them, and they come to GSA, I think, every year. And then I've got the GSA bag, too. You get this bag for free if you sign up for a membership while you're there at the meeting. And they have different versions of the backside of this bag. This is a Ray Troll design, and you can get multiple versions of this if you come to multiple meetings. I have two different versions of this bag now, and I just love it. So, yeah, you can get tons of awesome geology-themed bags. I got this really cool stromatolite, uh, old polished stromatolite fossil here from last year's meeting, and this beautiful ammonite. Hopefully that's focusing in the camera. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that one is just gorgeous. You can see all the sutures. Sutures. These guys are over 66 million years old, so cool. And I also have accumulated some awesome hats, this geologist hat, which matches my geologist shirt that I got this year. Um, I have this hat from my very first GSA in 2019, back when it was in Arizona. So we have the little cactus. <laughs> and then I just recently got this new Brunton hat, as I mentioned in the video. Brunton, if you don't know, is a company that is famous for making compasses that geologists use for field work, but they also, I think, make other things. I'll put some clips of their booth here. Other than that, GSA also sells these awesome books. <laughs> is this excessive? No, it is not. Uh, so these are roadside geology books, as well as some of the kind of state rocks books that are like Idaho rocks, Texas rocks, those kinds. Um, I have a lot of, the, oh, and the underfoot books, like Geology Underfoot of Southern Utah. I've got, I just recently got the Texas one because we had the meeting in Texas. Um, and then I've got Minnesota, which I used during my agate video. So go check out that video if you wanted to see that. We've got Utah, which I will be using in the video coming soon. Idaho, go check out my Yellowstone Hotspot Track video I did with Sean Wilsey, also one of the authors <laughs> of this book. We got Wyoming, 
Again, go check out the Yellowstone video for more on Wyoming geology. We got Colorado, which I've yet to use, but hopefully we'll go to Colorado in the next year or so and make some videos using this book. They're so helpful, like when I'm exploring like what to make and just, well, roadside geology <laughs> of places. Oh, and we've got Colorado's Western Slopes. This is a geology underfoot one. Both are a little bit different. The roadside geology books are a little bit more roadside, so like road cuts and things. Geology underfoot is like if you wanna go out and explore like you know what's under your feet <laughs> rather than just what's next to the road and accessible so both are a little different but both are so helpful for understanding where you're at and going on adventures we've got new mexico which again we'll use hopefully in a video soon the old version of roadside geology texas the new edition is the one i showed you earlier geology underfoot northern arizona go check out my grand canyon video for more on some of the geology of Northern Arizona. Geology underfoot Death Valley and Eastern California. This is one we used heavily on our Death Valley trip, me, Kate, and Cam, when we collabed over there. All of these are just a few of all the <laughs> amazing books that GSA has to offer. And they have a lot of them on their online store as well. I think, if not all of them, on their online store as well. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. But if you wanna come to one of their conferences in person, they also sell them there, so. And they're always making new additions with updates and colored maps, it's so amazing. Like just for example, this is from the Idaho book. We've got geologic map here, so showing colors, different geologic units, different rock units, and they have roads, you know, labeled on this map. It's just amazing that they do that because a lot of maps, geologic maps you look up online, like USGS puts out a ton of geologic maps, but they often don't have roads on them because that's, it clutters up the geology units and symbols. But all of the maps in, especially the newer editions of roadside geology books have, are now in color and have the road so you can find out where you actually are, what rock unit you're in and what you're looking at, how old it is, uh, what properties it has and all of that. So highly recommend. This is a figure I used heavily in my recent <laughs> Yellowstone videos because it's so helpful in explaining how the calderas form and obviously Snake River Plains. So anyway, there's tons of cool colored images, maps, figures, and diagrams in all of these books and I just cannot cannot recommend them more and anyway oh i've also gotten these these really cool colorful thin section coasters at gsa connects before um, they have a lot of different thin section oh actually wait a second this one too this is a thin section bag that i got it actually didn't come with the strap i sewed the strap on <laughs> but it's a thin section bag that this one company makes these like, you know, lots of products with thin section prints on their products, which is super cool. Thin sections, if you don't know, are rocks cut very thinly that you put under a microscope and they look really cool and colorful when you look at them under the microscope and cross polarized light. But anyway, that's another thing you can get at GSA. And I'm sure that I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I mean, this is just a tiny subset of all that GSA Connects has to offer and the exhibit halls have to offer at all of their conferences. But there's also great opportunities in the exhibit hall to connect what you learn in the classroom with what you'll actually use in the real world. I ran across this really cool stream table at GSA Connects this year, as well as a cool like wave uh, box. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know actually what it was called. I should have talked to them longer, but it was super cool. It was showing kind of how sediment moves where when there's waves over it. Anyway, so if you're a student, it's a great place to go. It's also great if you're thinking about grad school or you're looking for your first job after graduation because it's where you can actually meet the people who might hire you, your future employers who either might hire you or admit you into their program, their grad program. And you can meet them face to face and actually talk to them about their program or about their company and get an idea if it's the kind of people or team you want to work with. But again, this conference is not just students and academics. There's plenty of just hobbyists and there's even geoscientists in other industries other than academia. My name is Danny Platt. I am a U.S. Forest Service contractor out in Tonto National Forest. A couple of things that I do is I manage cave resources, geohazards, and exploration drilling projects. 
Wow, that's awesome. I'm Chad Kwiatkowski. I work for the Arizona Geological Survey in Tucson, Arizona. I mostly map geologic hazards throughout the state, including landslides and sinkholes and flood deposits. It's a lot of fun work and it goes a long way to help protect our communities. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that sneak peek into these conferences. And also I want your feedback. I'm working with GSA to try and increase the amount of opportunities for non-geoscientists at future meetings. So please let us know in the comments below, what would you come to these conferences for? Would you come to shop the exhibit hall? Would you wanna hear about the cutting edge research going on in geoscience or about the work geologists are doing to keep our communities safe? Safe from hazards like earthquakes, landslides, water shortages, contamination, etc. Or would you want to hear about the most exciting discoveries in geoscience today? Or is there something else entirely that you'd want us to offer at these conferences? If so, let us know below. We'd love to implement it for next year. GSA Connects takes place every year around September, October time. You can find their whole schedule online for the next like eight years or something. But there are smaller sectional meetings every spring as well. And we'd love to see you there, whether you're an educator, a hobbyist, a student, or just curious about our planet. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you'd like to experience or kind of virtually experience what it's like to go on a GSA field trip, which they also offer at these conferences, then stay tuned because I'll have several videos coming out over the next few weeks showcasing my experiences on several of the field trips I got to go on at Connects this year.